Hello everyone, this is Brian Bentley at CoinOp TV bringing you gameplay and commentary for New Frontier Days Founding Pioneers on the Nintendo Switch. Alright, New Frontier Days is by uh, Arc System Works, and what they're trying to do here is they, they have this building town simulator, and a lot of times you're going to find a game like this, say, on a mobile device, where you you know, kind of, you know, you tell them, okay, it's going to take so much time, and, you know, you can either, you know, wait eight hours, or you can pay X amount of real dollars. Uh, so they kind of for they kind of took a lot of that out, and they're just focused on building the town. Now, each, you'll notice in the top left corner, there is a timer, and, you know, so you have so much time in a year before the next harvest. And each year's harvest is kind of that money sink right so that to make the you know to you know to build the tension and so it takes a lot you know x amount of food depending on the number of pioneers you have and x amount of money depending on the buildings you have for quote unquote upkeep so you pay that uh, you pay those amounts and you go through ages and each age is dependent up you know gives you a certain types of buildings so Obviously, the first age, you kind of have your you know, command center, and then, like, you know, there's so, you know, a sawmill or something. And the second age is which this is what it is, the age of uh, settlements, where you, have, you, know, you can get a sawmill and a weaver and a recycling plant. So the recycling plant is for, you know, to build up happiness, you must remove X amount of garbage. You know, the garbage then affects the amount of happiness that they have, so that's another you know, a uh, time sink that they, they build in. And overall, you know, the, the game has its moments. Uh, you know, there there's a lot to do and you can totally get in the zone, right? You know, that, that okay, I'm, okay, so here you'll notice I'm trying to get to the age of villages. So there's the age of pioneering, the age of settlements. I've got all that. Uh, I have all the buildings. I'm trying to get to the age of villages. And I, I have not actually broken into the Age of Villages yet. It is, it is not, it is not easy for at least for me. And uh, and here's why. And I'm sure there's going to be people that are like, well, if you just sucked less, which is which is a possibility, absolutely. But where I struggle the most is it seems like every time I'm just about to get ahead, something happens in order to keep me down. And that's and that's a that's a difficult, like I, I like I never feel like I'm getting ahead of it. So actually, at this point, I've gotten the my command center or whatever. Uh, sorry, I keep thinking like Starcraft command center, uh, settlement house thing, headquarters, and I have that up to level two, which I believe once I get up to level three, I can jump to the next age. But I, I like I said, I never feel like I get in front of. Of, of anything, you know, because I, I feel like all I'm ever doing is trying to keep up. Like, I'm spending more time keeping up. And it, now, mind you, in this particular, you know, section of the world, I haven't even gotten to, I haven't been attacked by boars or bears. I've been fairly left alone, which has been kind of nice. So, I, I feel like that the game just puts too much, uh, like, just a little too much pressure on you per year in order to get like uh, have trouble getting ahead uh so a few other comments um i feel like the point and click thing actually works pretty well you know you can use the left analog stick in order to kind of move around uh, the right analog stick to move your camera but they do have snap too so you know the the you know d-pad buttons on you know the left joy con you know they they help do that kind of snap to thing and then you know, there, there are a lot of shortcuts that they use. So they, so overall, Arc System Works did a good job on, you know, keeping, you know, keeping the control scheme well. And I love these development goals because it kind of helps keep me on track. Uh, it also rewards me for, you know, doing the things that I've been doing. So I, I, I like that. The music is atrocious. It, it actually got to the point within 10 minutes, uh, the music got so annoying that I honestly, I, I just muted it. Oh, and that's a that's a tough thing for for these kind of games, you know. 
especially like Japanese role-playing games where you spend a lot of time in battle, uh, you have to listen to the same music over and over again, and it cannot be annoying, because otherwise you'll stop playing. And so I didn't stop playing, but I definitely muted the music. The music is, is awful. It's, it's probably the worst part of the whole game. Uh, so I, I did find the game, the story part of the game is, is quite difficult. Uh, unless, you, you know, maybe there are people out there who are very good at these games. I would recommend it to those people or, you know, I, I even have trouble, uh, you know, maybe recommending this to someone who's just looking for a game on the Switch just because I feel like the frustration level might be too high for them. So, overall, it, I'm enjoying it, but uh, I, there, it's not very compelling enough to keep me uh, entertained for very long. I, I have been going back to the free mode, uh, which I like better. All right, that's it for me, and we're going to wrap things up. Thank you for watching, and...